Hello, my name is Terry, and today I'll be going over free cash flow, or leverage free cash flow, and leverage free cash flow. And the difference between unlevered free cash flow and leverage cash flow is the inclusion or the exclusion of debt. Leverage free cash flow includes debt. The unlevered free cash flow excludes debt. And the line items, the first line items, the unlevered free cash flow starts with no pad, net operating profit after taxes. But the levered free cash flow starts with net income. And it also has an additional line item other than the unlevered free cash flow here because the levered free cash flow includes mandatory debt repayments. And whenever you're doing a DCF, you will use the unlevered free cash flow. So let's get started. First, I'm going to calculate my free cash flow. I need my cash flow from operations, and it's on the cash flow statement. And I also need my capex, capital expenditures. It's also on the cash flow statement under the investing activities section of the cash flow statement. And now we have the free cash flow calculated here. And the formula is cash flow from operations minus capex. Here I have a summation because the capital expenditures is a negative amount so I can just sum that up. Now let's move on. I need my operating income that comes from the income statement. And it's here. And the net operating profit after taxes, very simple. It's only the operating income times one minus the tax rate. That's the first line item for the unlevered free cash flow calculation. Now I need non-cash adjustments from the cash flow statement. That's a summation formula. And I will need the sum of all of those. And now I need my changes in asset operating assets and liabilities. So I need to sum all of those. Okay, and I have one more item. I need the capital expenditures. This here. And when I sum all of these, I have the unlevered free cash flow. Nine hundred. $32.80. Now let's move on to the leverage free cash flow. I need the net income here. Also need the non cash adjustments from the cash flow statement. Same as earlier when we were calculating the unlevered free cash flow. Sum all of those. Now we need the changes in operating assets and liabilities. Okay. Now I need the capital expenditures. Now I need the mandatory debt repayment. And it's here. Okay. Now that completes the levered free cash flow. As you can see, the difference in the amounts between the unlevered and levered free cash flow. First of all, we started with no pack for the unlevered and it's higher than the net income here and we also use debt and it's an additional amount that's coming off of the whole formula so we ended up with 333 and 80 cents for a levered free cash flow 
but we have 932 and 80 cents for the unlevered free cash flow. And the difference is because the difference line item that we use to calculate the net income compared to the notepad and also the mandatory debt repayments. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.